Hello YouTube and uh, good morning beautiful day for the repair today we have this sound system is about like uh, 90s and uh, back of the time it was top of the line so I'm gonna plug it to the power to see what it's doing so we can see the the time and uh, let's put so we see it is flashing it means the remote is sending the signal the device receiving the signal when we see that flashing is mean that's confirming the signal is is going between the remote and the device but well, it's stuck at the time This is what the customer told me on the phone about this device. He said he took it to another uh, local town system repair. The device is stay over there for like a week or so and he can't fix it. I think he did say one of my YouTube videos and he want to try me to see if I can uh, fix this device for him. So the device sometime, as the customer said, sometime when you try many times, Sometimes it will power on and and it works. You can see how many time I try. Nothing. So let's take the device apart and look at it inside. So all you have to do is take a five screws from the bottom to take this white cover and you take one screw here to remove the transformer. And unplug this to speaker wires. This one's here. Just flip it a little bit because I don't need this uh, speaker at the moment. So let me just unscrew this. So we don't need the speaker. This is what we need. So this is the device inside. And I found this cable here. This plastic is like... Uh, from this flex cable so we can't test the the unit without the CD let me show you what it's doing if we test it without the CD it's gonna it's gonna give us eject because it's not detecting the, the disk so we're gonna need the CD for it for us to start this sandwich. So for me to start this sandwich, so let's plug this one. Just wanna plug it like this. Then I put back this plastic here. So what we are going to fix here, we are going to fix the power, the specific problem. Because a lot of time I see these uh, units, they come with a bad CD drive. At that time we have 
we have to change the CD drive. But this one is come for no power. So let's test it again to be sure that still have the same issue. You can see the time over there. I pushed power button and you can see it flash and back to the time. Back to the time. Let's try three times at least. Yep, it just flash. And from what the customer said, he said sometime he try it too many times the device is gonna turn on. And that's telling us there is something is gonna need to charge or to get warm to work. So let's go with the first option. Something get need to charge first. And we know what is what needs to be charged is the capacitor. If the capacitor if the capacitor get in bed, it will take a long time to get charged and the device is not gonna respond as it should. As you see here, there is a lot of these silver capacitors. You see them all over here. So for us to start uh, checking, what we're going to do, we're going to need the solder iron. So the solder iron is hot, like putting it on the side of the capacitors. Yeah. So don't put it on the top of the capacitor because there is a numbers. Let me show you. Yeah, you can see the numbers on the top of the capacitor and you need that numbers. If you put the solder iron on the top of it, that numbers is going to be gone and you are not going to know the capacitance and the voltage. Yeah, we're going to test one by one till we find which one is. Hello? I hope it's just a capacitor because this board is it's kind of a little bit expensive it's about like over a hundred dollar to replace it if it is the processor is getting bad Way. I use it to find which capacitor is dead. Besides, you keep removing one, one by one and test it. The capacitor will switch one, the device completely get off. Completely turn it off. So I test all the capacitors in this board 
uh, no change so let's start in this board so I test all the capacitors in this board uh, no change so let's start in this board Let's touch again. Still doing the same thing. Let's look under this uh, this shelf. See if we have any capacitors. I think maybe this board has been changed before. You can see that's a marker over there. Yep, still doing the same thing. So let's test these capacitors, get them a little bit warm. So don't leave the solder iron, it turns on. You can see it, it turns on. Here. So I turn off, turns on. So let's wait for this capacitor to cool, to cool down. No. You see that. So let's try again. So I did put it by this one here. Turns on. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that one to see if any other ones is bad. So the capacitor warm, we're still gonna turn on. So now it's it's cool. So let me try. So when now that one is gonna need to be changed. And be careful when you put the solder iron like this to warm this one you may warm the other one as well and you're gonna get uh, confused which one is so try to keep the solder iron far from the other capacitor so you're just gonna test one no this capacitor no this one no this capacitor no this one here it works so let me let me get it down because it's still warm yeah so warm I want to know if it is the two capacitor is bad or just one yeah, cell one no the capacitor is cool you can see it is not powering on so I'm just gonna test just this one yeah so these two here both is bad so these two both are bad and yeah we we find out what's going on so
this capacitor here is uh, you can see that 22 we don't look at the first one that is one the second company uh, uh, the company number the 22 is mean 22 microfarad and 6 volt and this one here as well 22 microfarad and 6 volt so we need two 22 6 volt let me look in the I have this ones here is a 22 is a 22 microfarad but is a 50 volt still gonna work this one as well 22 so let's take this ones Yeah, another thing that uh, to be sure is not like some voltage is going from the solder iron to the capacitor that's causing the, the board to wake up we can put like uh, the yellow tape and we're gonna put the solder iron after that so we know that there is no connection between the capacitor and the solder iron so like this then we try to power on it's gonna go on so this is just I want to show you this way as well let me power it off yeah I think it's not that high yeah it's good If, uh, if I can't put it like this, it's going to be good. So let's test these two capacitors to be sure that they are good. We're not going to try to replace uh, We try to replace a bad capacitor with the bad capacitor. So it's a 21 microfarad, it's good. The ESR is a 0 ohm, that's great. So there is no voltage leak in this uh, capacitor. So let's try the second one. Twenty, 21 microfarad and 0 ESR, that's great. now we just we have to take these capacitors the way to take the capacitor just like melt the one side then push it to the other side so 
so here is one capacitor zoom in so I already removed this capacitor the one was here the second one is here Let's put a new solder that's going to help to melt quick. So we start going one side by one side like this. So we don't damage the traces. Yep. So if it's happened to you, you forgot to lock the, the polarity of the, ca the capacitor, where is the negative side, you can use the multimeter and put, put one probe in, one, in the negative side of the capacitor, then lock which side is. So this is the negative side. This is the negative side. This one and this one. So this one is going to be like this. Let me bring the tweezer, it's going to be better. So here is the first capacitor. So here is the first capacitor and we put the second one. Let's see if we can put it here.
that's the same capacitor so we wait for it to don't want to test the capacitor when it's hot so at the same time i'm going to test the capacitor that i i remove it just to see the esr That's the capacitor. Here, the, you can see the capacitor. Let me, you can see the, the capacitance of the capacitor is still good. It's a 23 microfarad. But look the ESR. The ESR, ESR is a 0 0.1 kilo ohm. That's a hundred ohm. So this this one is leaking the the voltages. So that's why you don't need to check just the capacitance of the capacitor. It may show you a good capacitance like this one. It's a twenty three microfarad, and that capacitor is a twenty two microfarad. But you need to check the ESR as well. So the other one, oops. So this one is a 21 microfarad and almost 80 ohm. You can see the ESR is high. It should be good. Let's test it. This is the first test. I get you the power. You can see the at the time. It works. It works. Oh, that's great. Let me unplug it again. plug it back and it works so I'm gonna put all the speakers CD in the place and uh, with the stitch again to be sure the shell this fits good so I put the device together you can see the modding number is uh, over there is a AWRCC2 and so let's plug it to the power and we test the sound you can see the chime here I'm gonna push the power button it turns on right away we have a sound we need the solder button yep the volume work here is other inputs CD no disc radio so yeah this is how I uh, how you check the capacitor in the board if you want to ship anything for uh, repair you have my phone number and address on the YouTube so this is all for this video thank you for watching see you next one